and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back for my 17 week pregnancy update. So this week, according to my Ovia app, uh, baby H's senses are developing fast and their brain is beginning to coordinate with their other developing systems. Um, like the way it's starting to regulate the, their heartbeat instead of letting it beat willy nilly like it has been. Baby H's umbilical cord is also growing stronger and getting better at delivering nutrients. Baby H is now five inches long and about the size of a pomegranate. And the soft cartilage that makes up their skeleton is ossifying or turning into bone. The umbilical cord is strengthening and Baby H's heart is beating up to 150 times a minute and is now controlled by their brain rather than beating at random intervals. Furthermore, the brain is continuing to develop senses of sight, smell, sound, and touch, and their arms and legs have reached their normal proportions and will continue to grow at this constant rate from here on out. They are developing coordination, so they will be ready to take on the world in just a trimester and a half. A trimester and a half. How mind-boggling is that? That's crazy. Um, so for me, I'll go over my usual suspects in, term of, in terms of symptoms. So that would be the round ligament pain that has been here for a few weeks now. The back pain, which I've noticed has been a lot worse this week again than it was in the last few weeks. Some of my newer symptoms is um, a little bit, some of them are a little bit TMI. So maybe I'll go over the ones that are not TMI first and do the last two that are TMI at the end. <laughs> So vivid dreams, um, they're crazy. Like I think um, because I wake up in the night just to like turn or whatever, it helps me to like remember my dreams a lot more and they're just vivid to the point where I'm like, did this happen? Is this real? Like I have to distinguish what's real and what's not real. They're crazy. And in general, my sleep I feel like is not as good. Um, due to the fact that a the dreams they're just so intense that it's you don't feel like you're sleeping like you don't feel like you're resting um, two would be that everything is growing the belly is getting bigger and so being comfortable on one side or the other for a long time is not really an option anymore so I flip-flop from my left to my right from partial back side movement like throughout the night but the thing is that I've always been um, a light sleeper in the sense that when I roll over in the night, I can't roll over seamlessly without waking up. Every time I roll over, I'm slightly awake and conscious of what's going on, and then I fall back asleep. But now, because of the belly, I can't simply just be conscious and roll over really quickly and be done with it. It's like I have to sit up in the bed, roll myself over, put the pillow back into place, and then settle in and go to sleep. So I do that at least you know let's say five times throughout the night so it's it's not like a nice fluid sleep and I find that even if I have the correct amount of hours of sleep it's just the start and stop that just makes the quality not as good so sleep is not as good as it has been I've had an increase in appetite it's slight it's not full-fledged but like I'll eat and I know that in an hour or two I'm gonna need to eat something and it's not that I'm eating big meals it just means I'm just means I'm snacking more frequently but I do feel that like hunger whereas before it was eat every two hours because it'll help me to like not get headaches and you know not feel nauseous so I was eating to keep those things at bay not as much because I was feeling I needed to eat whereas now I'm actually feeling the hunger of like I need to eat and I need to eat now I need a snack I need it now so that's a slight increase um, I guess going along with that is I've gained like a pound and a half just over a pound um, that I've noticed since last week which is progress considering I hadn't gained anything and I feel like I'm going to just probably towards the end gain a whole bunch of weight so I'm totally content with not gaining a ton of weight in this first half because the second half I don't know what it would be like could be a complete disaster um, in terms of like my TMI yeah, so now I'll do my two TMI <laughs> symptoms. 
One is um, bowel movements. They are on either end of the spectrum. It's either not going often, and when I do, it's just not comfortable, or going and just going and going, going. Okay, so it's the it's it's like infrequent constipation or frequent kind of diarrhea feeling. So that's been uncomfortable and not nice to deal with. And I find it always happens at the most I, like inconvenient times, which is like right before I'm about to go to work. Um, to deal with that, I've started eating prunes. I'll eat like a few prunes a day just to kind of help everything move along nicely because I can't take any more supplements or any more pills. I barely want to take what I'm taking now, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm probably going to see about other, like, I mean, I'm eating the vegetables, but I mean, I feel like... I need a lot of fiber to really combat it, so I'm gonna look into some other things. But right now, prunes are my new friend. Um, the second one is bodily fluids. There is an increase in bodily fluids going on in my life. Um, sweat, A, because it's hot. Um, we've had some seriously hot days here. Um, so there's that, and then there's the other, you know, bodily fluid that happens and that has been uncomfortable and not nice and quite frankly it's just it's gross it's it's gross it's not nice it's it's not a nice feeling going on down there so there's that so those are my TMI symptoms but hey if you're watching this you're pregnant or you like pregnancy or you just generally like me so you know what <laughs> I feel like I can share this stuff with you guys and it won't be quite as awkward cravings I had one craving for sandwiches like I really just wanted subway and uh, we went to go have subway and then I just decided to have something else so that just kind of was like the second thing is that like I've been craving pastries so like Joe Louis or flakies or tarts or all those kind of donuts like just like a general sweet craving for those kinds of pastries has been there. Um, it's not frequent, it's not a lot. As you guys know, like, I'm not really craving sweets. I'm really craving, like, salty, savory things. Um, but that's, in terms of sweets, that's probably the biggest craving that I have. Um, any other notable things that have happened this week? I, for the first time, felt the baby move, which is so exciting. Like, I'm so over the moon about it. I kind of was wondering when it's going to happen because when I did go for my ultrasound, they said that I have an anterior placenta which would mean that the placenta is at the front instead of at the back and so that could kind of block some of baby's movements and it could take longer or be harder to feel the baby move so I was kind of setting myself up for not feeling the baby until like 25 weeks um, and I was pretty much just kind of like okay go with on um, with you know life as normal um, but I did feel like little flutters one day I was laying in bed and it felt like popcorn popping like just like little pop, 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 like just felt like little pops and I know it wasn't something else like I know it wasn't gas or something else like I'm like I can decipher what those other bodily things that are happening this is something new um, and so it's I've had them a few more times in the next few days and then they've kind of turned into more of like flutters that I feel really um, down low either sometimes they're on the left sometimes they're on the right um, and I kind of wonder if maybe it has something to do with you know when the uterus grows and it stretches that could in some ways for some people shift the placenta from anterior to posterior so I'll know like when I do my 20 week ultrasound if that's the case or maybe you know I'm just the exception to the rule and my baby is just super wild and strong I'm so excited like it is so exciting usually it I only feel the baby when I am laying in bed just kind of hanging out or before I go to sleep and usually at night Huang will rub my belly with coconut oil as part of our kind of night routine and a lot of times that is when I feel the baby um, kind of moving and I think it's in response to his touch of him rubbing so that's really nice even though he can't feel it I can at least tell him like the baby is responding to you and that's that's it's just like 
it's so beautiful. My bump is growing. It's becoming a little bit more noticeable and I feel a little bit more comfortable wearing clothes that are going to show it. Pretty much it for 17 weeks. So I will show you my bump and then that will be it for this video. Okay guys, so here is the bump. You can see this is my 17 week baby bump. I think it's getting bigger. My shirt up so you can just see it with my tank top. I feel like it's growing slowly but surely. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button because again, guys, it's free. Join. Join the fam. Um, and I will see you guys in my next update, which will be 18 weeks, which is crazy. I say it all the time. I know, but it really is crazy. I feel like now time is just starting to fly. So anyways, guys, subscribe so you don't miss out so you can see what happens at 18 weeks. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.